of an accident here. And uh, I'm taking this video to kind of show uh, people how the American authorities handle accidents. You got two police officers right there, police cars. Uh, most of the times, police officers will be driving by themselves, so it will be only one occupant. So that is a car that hit another car. I can't see. It might be a hit and run because I can only see one car. I can't see. No, there are two. Actually, there are two cars by you know stopped by each other. So the police officers are probably doing their investigations. And uh, there's one of them coming out. Probably going to handle. Yeah, they got a ticket. They got a ticket in their hands. So I don't know, I can't tell because I don't know, I can't interfere with their investigations. But I can tell you from here, somebody, the car in the right hand side, the driver of that car is getting ticketed. And uh, whatever it is, it could have been uh, heartbreaking, it could have been about this car, the car that has damage in the front, in the front end, uh, it might be a total. So, I cannot tell from here. When this car doesn't seem like it's going to be able to drive. So, uh, one of the police officers drove away. No, actually that's a third police car. Because the other two police cars are still sitting here doing their job, doing their investigation. Uh, and the police officer who walked to that car is still probably talking to somebody. So, just trying to follow up and see. So, yeah, that's uh, he's not going to handle that business. He's probably going to handle some other businesses. These two police officers are still here doing their job. So, most likely than not, because this car will not be able to drive out of here, they will be calling a tow truck. And that car is going to be towed to probably the insurance's yard where they can complete their investigations. They can. And I see a tow truck right there driving by. Maybe it's going to make a turn. He's right there. Yep. And, uh,. So my police officers are still here, they will stay here until the highway is clear. Plus they cannot leave the occupants because that car is not running, they cannot leave them in the cold. They have to make sure that everybody is comfortable. So we'll see what happens. This way just may be the tow truck is going to make a turn come and tow that car away so let's just wait so they are seated on the side of the road because the other you know they, they still have to be able to keep the highway in use yeah there he goes back he goes back to his car doesn't have the paper he had in his hands anymore so I can tell you for sure somebody got a ticket somebody got ticketed somebody got a ticket
this is a uh, Olaitha. Let's we'll see what it says on the side. Olaitha, Kansas. So you're still waiting. They're going to be making decisions on what happens next. Here. that car sitting on the side of the highway that car doesn't to me I don't know because I'm not there I can tell for sure but that car doesn't seem like it's operable anymore so yeah we'll, we'll just wait here and see just here and see what happens two police officers are still here sitting here for safety they're trying to make it what they say and uh, once you see the light you're going to know for sure there's something going on the side of the highway so you're going to you know slow down and keep a safe distance and uh, be careful as you approach So that officer gets out, he's probably going to consult his uh, colleague, he gets out too. Yeah, I was right, the tow truck was actually going to turn, he's right here right there right there he's got lights on and he pulls up in front of the cars he's gonna back up and he's gonna put that car on that flatbed into his toolbox see what he's getting out of his toolbox what is that that must be the owner of that car the gentleman in the blue some absorbent because that guy is actually leaking some fluid I don't know what kind of fluid it might be oil it might be coolant but he is he has to do that to be able to dry up that you know so that he can so you know he can he can dry up that whatever fluid coolant it might be oil and it's yeah he's pouring it so that is going to be you know the, the highway is not going to be slippery and he's doing that to oh the other car that was on the side they let him go so the car is now leaving I don't know who got a ticket between that lady driving that car and the gentleman in the blue car I don't know who got a ticket but somebody got a ticket 
so they left. So he's still calling them sober. Slides, he slides uh, the, the flatbed all the way to the floor, all the way. <laughs> See how he's gonna load that car, so he's gonna go inside and put it in neutral. up some chains and drag it up on the flatbed. he loads it so he goes to he walks to the side and let's see he pushes the button and the car start going up the bed there's nobody in the car just it's driving itself because he's putting that on the bed using the chains that door secure the tires make the wheels very secure then let's see what's gonna happen. It's got some packets. Oh, he's gotta pick that up, so man. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I don't know what he's picking up. I guess it's whatever it is, whatever it's on the floor.
Okay. He another car showed up. He, the guy called him maybe whatever a Uber or his friend or somebody, and he's get he's giving the tour guy is giving his information, giving a business card, so that they will be able to communicate from here. And he's you know telling him where he's gonna find his car. It's gonna be towed to some insurance yard. These cars are still here. They can't leave until he leaves. Then they can clear the highway. I guess once he pours the absorbent, he has to spread it out and then pick it up. He can't, he can't leave it on the floor. I don't know. I'm just, uh, that's me thinking. I'm not, I can't get closer, closer enough to be able to capture whatever he is doing. So now, I hope I wish that those cars were Waiting for him to fully put the car on the flatbed. Oh, I guess he's done. He's done. Let's see what's gonna do with that. Let's 
see what's going to do with that packet. I missed that. I can't see that. That car prevented me. Stopped on the side, so I'm not able to see whatever he was going to do with that. Okay, he put it back. Whatever he got it from, I guess from a compartment. And then what? And then he's gonna even out the flatbed. It's hydraulic. So the kite now is on top of uh, the tow truck. That looked easy. And he's gonna talk to the police officer. And they got a green light. So you as you can live with it. Now he's gonna take kid to he's gonna take it to a uh, insurance yard. And then the guy, the gentleman, the gentleman who was in the blue uh, hoodie, he can go file his claim. Uh, I'm going to drop it right here when they leave. The that tow guy is going to leave with the car. And then the police officers are going to leave as well. And this is the, going to be the end of this video. It's going to be the end. Then the, whatever happens, the gentleman is going to follow, uh, file his claim. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, police officers leave. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this video. I cannot, I won't be able to follow up with the investigations. So, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.